then suddenly oh. we're imprisoned. What's going on? Ah, he's finally come to. And he can speak human, turns out. He started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way. Except maybe with me reflection in the piss bucket. Okay. Where Sounds I? like we're on, on a the ship. Albatross, or the fuck bath oil. It's their strange tongue, has it? En route to a fear. Don't remember signing on as a sailor. <laughs> oh, you didn't, mate. They dragged you aboard. Seems you killed that prince. Uh, so he really was a prince? Holy shit. Sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. I happen to know a bit of a theory. I heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by the king to find their prince, lift his curse. The way to their honor, and that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So. Must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. Okay, um, let's talk a bit about you. Who are you? And who might you be? Felipe Caligrand at your service. Petty thing, professional fence. And your guide about Oxenford. One of the best. Mm -hmm. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See? I was their guide, led them down into the sewers, but not until after you'd cut their prince's gut open. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwent. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own breaches. That's also true, probably. Then you wouldn't have to be the guide. Well, yeah. Series of events, you can't always uh, predict what's going to happen. How long have we been sailing? We've been at sea long. To know Riley. Not that long. Though, on the other hand. <laughs> but what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? I'm glad to be silent to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White, with black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not. Is that black bros? horses with white stripes? Nay. Black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwabar. That I'm sure of. <laughs> okay then. And uh, you've seen Shawnee by any instance? Listen, by accident? There was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Okay, that's good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. Okay, any way out of here? Probably not, but... Out yet. Uh, used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be Maya Fury's, Rusty. Maya Fury's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. I'll teach you something that time. I don't want to be at sea for a month. What's that mean? I told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to you, Captain? Yes, you too. Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. You'll be dead already. We swore on our honor. How do I say? Take me to your captain. What? Okay. Vileth. Um. Ah! Vileth. Alche ul egulath. Elkal. I think that was it, right? I was paying attention. That should have been the thing. I don't know if I said the right thing. What did he say? Said to sit quiet. And that you'll hang in two weeks. Okay, two weeks. Rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get is angry gurgles. And they puff up, you notice? While them fish. What's it they're called? Buffer fish? here who speaks common. Ah, oh, there's this mercenary with him. Looks Adernian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage, what leads them, knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. I think that's the guy we saw in the sewers, right? The guy with the beard? Catch some short eye. Not go on flapping the tongue. Got a long voyage ahead. Okay. 
So this is unexpected. I thought it would all be in the northeastern part of the map. That's what I want. There's somebody coming. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? Yes, we do. Remember, we met in White Orchard. Your Gaunter Odin, known also as Master Mirror. Yeah. So I at the beginning of the game, he told us to talk to the Nilf Guardian. Uh, we meet again. Camp Master. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. So you set me up. Is that it? That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. Where does he keep coming from? Because he always just appears. How'd you get in here? Long story, but it bore you. I'd prefer to focus on something more useful, like getting you off this ship. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you? Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know you return the favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. Yeah, I suppose. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, meet the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. And that is? Oh, shit. Is he burning something in my face? Yeah, What's he that? is. A mark to show we're associates. God damn it. He branded us. Who are you gabbing with? With no one. <sighs> Never like Moat. Not one bit. And uh, are we gonna get out? Eve like devils. Make me stump churn. Oh, it'd be prime to sleep through the whole thing. Uh, yep, there we go. God damn it. Didn't bargain for no storm. I fear that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear, get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king, we must bring him. Why are they speaking English right now? Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we do me the other? The other drop. We could do nothing. We deliver live this one. Oh, the poor from other prisoner is dead, so we're being dragged along. Oh god, there's his head. Holy shit. Holy shit, that was awesome. And I'm afraid we're gonna have to fight like this. Oh god, and a mage along with him. Help! Holy shit! What the hell is that? I have everything though. But I have, of course... Tornadoes. Well, that's not something I have, but... So now we've got one of those guys. Okay. Holy shit. Go get him! Go get him! Go get him! Go get him! Nope! 
Oh shit. Oh. So set them on fire. Okay. He's starting to kill his own men. Shit. How the hell am I going to kill this guy? Not like this, apparently. Okay. And that just plainly killed me. Holy shit! Oh fuck off! God damn it. Oh for fuck's sake! Fucking hell. Okay, I almost got this. I'm gonna kill the motherfucker. Fuck to surrender. Okay. Oh. Fuck you, asshole. Jesus Christ, that took me four times. Holy shit. Okay, he's down. So let's loot this guy. Silver casket, Lassus Farrock, runestone, and a letter from an Ophiri mer merchant. Werner, Werner, Perner, whatever be it they call you. No idea have I why the most gracious crown mage Ahmad designated all people you as your, of all people probably, of all people you as our liaison. The argument that you best know this land, being Nordling yourself, do not I find in the least bit convincing. Because Aderns has much to do with Redania as Zarakenia with, has with Ophir, namely nothing. But as the wishes of his graciousness are not to be disputed, Beseech you, I try, I to try, to deliver to him his message. Our camp we have staked near Brunwich, a village, in keeping with the orders given us by the court and his graciousness. 
knowledge and goods of our land we now share with the local populaces. Sadly, as to their mental capacities, my predictions rightly judged, so I renew my request for permission to travel towards a greater urban settlement where our knowledge and experience will be better appreciated. Sincerely, Dula command me. That guy can't read, can't speak English just as much as I can, probably. Hey, a chest! Fiery Tunic and Salmian Brigandine. Do I have all my armor back, by the way? I have! Why don't I wear that, then? God damn it. Uh, so let's put the silver sword in there again as well. And there we go! Uh, I'm also gonna drink, because I used this thingy, this concoction. Whenever a single hit drains more than a third of vitality, a quench shield is activated, which protects against the next attack. That was really handy eventually. So, white honey to clear the toxicity. And that should be fine, great. So let's see, there's a lot of loot in here. But that was a hell of a fight, Jesus Christ. He had a few stunning attacks that I couldn't do much against. Except try to dodge that immediately. So, um, I'm doubting what I should do now. Maybe I should go meet Master Mirror at midnight at the crossroads beneath the willows. And maybe I'll end it after that. So see you guys in a minute. Gotta find me some work. So we're uh, at the village Yantra. I'm gonna quickly meditate to close to midnight. And that should allow us to uh, activate that area over here. Hello. God damn, that looks ugly. That mark on his face. Why did that sound so ghastly in the first minutes? Holy shit. That guy's a ghost, isn't he? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. And, and the mark on my face. Me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. Human but we're not a rotten scoundrel. All races. You really must explain that to me, one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? Um, you didn't help me, the storm did, but he probably created that storm. I was counting on more, uh, conventional help. Thanks for your help, really. But you could have chosen more conventional means, given me the key to myself, for instance. Oh my, far too simple. I dislike simple solutions. Do you like them? The simple solutions are mostly the best. True. I'd much rather tell you about an individual of interest to us both. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to A heart of stone. There we go. Do you think this Roll credits. Me? Any reason why? Because of that mark on your face? Well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. So he's the guy that set me up with the toad. Um, don't have a thing against Olgierd. Well, we do have a thing against Olgierd. What did he do to get on what your shit you list? You? Before I reveal this, I'd like to make one thing very clear. Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Okay, well, then. clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. 
Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake, I have many interesting wares on offer. Wares okay. like surfeit, abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you. No, I'm good on that account. Agile as never before, your mind faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. So you're above a jinn. I offer a great. True Are you a jinn? An experience like no other. The fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. A gin in human form. My help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me. Just one. Honesty. Okay, we can do that. What have you done for Olgeard? What did you do for Olgeard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. There was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. All gear had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothy. Gaunt to Seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. That explains a lot, actually. Afterwards. He turned his back. Because he had similar Shut marks me. on his face. Sends me off when I dare ask for payment. Even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. Okay. Olgird's debt, how much is it? Yes, I'm uh, wondering about that you? too. <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Olgeard owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. Oh, that you do still respect. Okay then, what would I need to do? What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I so cannot he is a fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm -hmm. So what you need is a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do that you sounds about to? correct. To start with... Join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. Sounds not I like believe, plan. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. We will. Specifics now. Thought Holgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. But he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. Okay, so uh, we're going to continue with this, of course, because otherwise we just stop the DLC right here, but so be it. Fine, I'll go see Olgeard with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Okay, go. sounds fair. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another death and it collect. seems you can teleport either way, so it doesn't really Perhaps. matter. He's an interesting character. So next up, we need to go see Old Geard from Everek and confront him. Well, on the one side with what he did to us, and on the other side towards his death with uh, Gontor or Dim. But before we do that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episodes, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye. Yeah,